Yo. So I got my first friend from Norway visiting ever. He's basically just tired of the system and he's ditching. Who is that man? Where am I? Well, you're not lost, I can promise you that. Welcome to Thailand. Thank I'm you. John. Yeah. Nice. I haven't seen you for years. You're such a big boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why do you escape Norway? Uh, I want to do a shift. Okay. From, uh, you know, not upgraded people. So uh, I think, uh, or hopefully, this place will give me. I think so. Shift. I recognize it. It's yeah. the same reason we left and uh, I left and they're not going back. It's the reason I'm not going back to Norway at least. Yeah, well, this is Tal. This is my buddy from Norway. We did film production together for many years. Um, he come here to visit, to research and uh, have a good time. Upgrade, heal, elevate and Pack go beyond. Stuff. Yeah, we're not traveling like a woman. That's nice. <laughs> okay, let's go inside. Okay. Hey guys, this is John Mack again. Thanks for tuning back into another video. It's been a few weeks. Uh, right now I'm actually in Pai, up north in Thailand. Um, and in this video I just wanted to uh, introduce a friend from Norway. He's a buddy I have had for many years in Norway. We did film production together. And I think I have to say that he is one of the guys also now kind of wanted to break out. Um, he is coming here to visit in Thailand. And um, yeah, we are now in Pai. He will be doing a little bit of work here. Uh, we will introduce uh, him and um, you're going to see how he's working. Um, the changes he's looking for in life. Um, he's basically escaping Norway. He's tired of the system. He want to get out, have more freedom. Kind of um, enjoy life more, have a higher quality of life. So um, we are going to have a little bit of activity going around to different um, places to visit, um, get some nature, we need some grounding. There's a lot of changes going on at this time. We just had uh, some superhero dinner. We're starting our uh, stairs up the, to the temple. I'm just a little bit worried that my fat body from Norway here uh, won't be able to do it. But um, I'll be there. I'll be there. It will be fine. We'll get through this. Okay? We'll get through it together. We got the wind in our back, and that helps. As a photographer, you should have this, you know, a clip. So you just clip your camera there, and you can hike, continue hiking. So we are at the top. Um, it's a very nice area. Nice workout for the legs. Right, Oh, Yeah. You feel like a fitness babe now? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You are a fitness babe. Yeah, I lost actually 10 pounds just mm. going up here. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so it's good It's good to, um, I mean, sometimes I actually come here myself. <clears throat> I've done that before. And there's a coffee shop here at the, at the um, top of the temple where we are now. We can just sit down by some big fat wooden tables. And I'm playing with Cody. And um, put some music in my ears and just sit here and enjoy the time and do some work, get some work done.
something I wanted to mention today in this video is uh, that um, we are in this time now, as some of you know that I'm talking about when it comes to reality shift. We are in a time now where it's getting so important to really filter your reality. And uh, like I mentioned before, you have to filter food, uh, people, information, where you hang out. And that's going to gradually start to change your reality. But sometimes you have to relocate. and it's, I mentioned this today because it's also the topic for my, my friend here coming from Norway now is that um, to, make, to make it possible to improve your life the way you want it and maybe get closer to your dreams. So how do you do that? Well, you have to gradually change something. You have to start somewhere. So review what you eat, review the da your daily habits, review what kind of information you allow into your mind and to influence your mind. What kind of people around you, your family and friends network do you allow to influence you? And then also lastly, which is kind of a big deal for some people, is to maybe realize that the place you live in is absolutely not the best place for you to be. So relocate, move to another city, another area, even another country. And we are in such a time now that there's so much madness happening on the planet. I mean, there's always something. Humans are really it's just like five-year-olds trying to figure life out. But there's so much going on, there's so much stuff coming out, truths, revelations, which kind of create a huge uh, flow of dynamics of energy and change uh, on the planet. So you may be in a place where it's not beneficial for you to be. And that's why I've known for some time now, more and more people coming to to Thailand and uh, to Chiang Mai, especially Chiang Mai, for that reason, is people that are escaping. And I think I can tell you that 90 or maybe even 100% of people I've talked to coming from the United States, England, Canada, and a lot of people from France, all of them say, I'm never going back to that madness. So that is it kind of some of the topics for, for people like us at this time. We have to uh, really choose our reality and that can be including moving to another continent, moving to another place. Ooh, it felt good. We're coming down from the mountains. We're now enlightened and uh, wiser than before, yeah. so uh, that's amazing. Hello. Okay, we took a break. We are over the mountains, or we are on the way of the mountains from Chiang Mai. How is it to drive? Nice. Yeah. 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 Good roads, actually. Yeah. I yeah, some of the roads up here is actually brand new. There is this um, well-known coffee shop up here that we usually stop at. This guy is making a really good coffee. It's a nice place to have a break. And uh, it's a nice view. And uh, we can get warm up if you get cold over the mountains. Uh, and we got chickens here. Planning and planning, and when we finally go ready, it started to rain. So, but 
you know, that's kind of, uh, you know, just a challenge. And I need to be more creative. It doesn't look cheap, you know, like... So yes, today we are in Thailand, in a little village called Pai. So today we're doing a shoot again with Agnes. And the vibe today, I felt, is a little bit kind of a Jedi, Jedi vibe. So it's more like uh, adventure, mystical in some way, and it's uh, a little vintage also. So yeah, and she's wearing a beautiful dress actually, so I think it will be uh, some nice pictures today. Great! Yeah, so what I'm looking for when I'm doing a shoot or make pictures is like foreground and background to make a, you know, a three-dimensional look of it. We are looking for some good spots. What we're looking at, Johnny, now? What? What we are looking so for? Looking for um, I wanted to see if there's a spot where we have some one of these big leaves kind of enclosing here. Yeah. And we're going to use, um, we, we only have one light panel because we're traveling light, but try, we're trying to put some light into the leaves. Um, yeah. So I think I want to try one here and shoot the light right up and just to see. I was hoping the lamps would come on, but we have to wait for that. It's actually super nice with the green. Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I had much fun with that. 